Another day, another goofy crypto project to laugh at. Yesterday, I was finding tons of beautiful NFTs to make me sick to my stomach, such as the Adolf Hitler collection, where apparently Adolf Hitler's soul has been minted into the blockchain in a collection called the Adolfies, which is basically bored apes, but with Hitler. Uh, I'm guessing that project's really popping off. And then, of course, recently Troy Baker went on Twitter and publicly shot himself in the foot by announcing his own NFT project, saying, you can hate or you can create. And collectively, he got hated. He got fucking ratioed straight to hell. He got banished to the shadow realm with a fat ratio. But that neither of these projects are what we're talking about today. Today we're going to be looking at Crypto Land. I actually watched this on stream the other day. Before I enlighten you with the Crypto Land video, I wanted to clarify something. On stream before I watched this, I mentioned that I knew a very limited amount about Crypto Land, but I did mention a shitstorm that I saw on Twitter with Crypto Land in regards to kids. So I said that they allowed kids on their island, but apparently this wasn't exactly what they said, so I'll just show you the tweet. This was the tweet that caused all of the drama on Twitter, and it's a fucking weird tweet. So it's even, like, more disturbing than what I said going into the video, or what I thought it was about going into the video. It deals with the age of consent on their island. So, uh, further clarification, Cryptoland was also trying to be a real-world thing, where they were actually going to own a Fijian island for crypto enthusiasts. And someone asked what the age of consent on the island would be, and they just said mental maturity is enough with a winky face. So you can see why this was immediately just written off as a fucking creepy project. I just wanted to clarify this before showing you the video, because I got it wrong in the beginning with what this was actually about. And also one other thing I learned is that Cryptoland has been DMCA striking people that shit talk their project. So if that does happen to this video, I will be fighting it legally tooth and nail and put as much money and time as I need to in order to combat that because that is some outright bullshit. Crypto land, I think is what we're going to start with. Crypto land is this new crypto scam or something. I don't know shit about it. The only reason I know this exists is because I saw an argument on Twitter where someone asked who's allowed on crypto land? Are kids allowed? And they said anyone's allowed of mental maturity or something. So then everyone started calling Crypto Land Epstein Island. That's the only thing I know about this. And I know they had like a full-blown animated announcement that was really embarrassing. Hi, this is me, Christopher, a crypto degen with a crush for crypto kitties. I'm on my way to Crypto Land, the number one... That was pretty close. That was pretty quick. <laughs> After just giving a brief backstory of the only thing I know about it, saying they like kids on the island or whatever, he just talks about his obsession with crypto kitties. In six seconds. Wow. And when Connie, Three, two, one, the founder, told Prime me generic. that visionary investors could own a piece of this unique island, and I, did get one. I smashed one of the 60 exclusive parcels on the blockchain hills. That's how I became a King Crypto Lander. And there it is. Yeah. Let's go, Crypto Land. Connie? Christopher! Come here, buddy! <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> Yeah, 50,000 blocks at least. Been waiting for you since This is like one of those old PC games that came in cereal well, boxes. Now. Welcome to Cryptoland. The hardware's of last resort. This was to cost them so much to make. All the other King Cryptolanders have been arriving from all corners of the world. When we get to the blockchain Oh, that's another thing. Also, one more thing I kind of know about this going into it. Apparently this wanted to be more or wants to be more than crypto. It wants a physical island that you can go visit, which is why people like, got really bothered by them saying like as long as you're mentally mature, any age is welcome. <laughs> because it's that's a, like a weird thing to say and like welcome onto your island of crypto, bros. So I think this whole thing is about like a real place in the real world that is also tied to the blockchain or something. Again, I only know a very limited amount from the Twitter arguments I was reading. Reddit Island 3.0, pretty much. Not your keys, not your bitcoins. Seriously? Your keys, your bitcoin. Not your keys, not your bitcoins. <laughs> wow. Where do you come up with these crazy ideas? <laughs> you goofball. I'm not gonna tell you where. <laughs> Sir? God, this is embarrassing. Ready. Holy shit. What? Not the moon. Entering the oh blockchain hills. Hey, what's that? The Vladimir. No, this is a real project. This is an actual project. Cryptoland is a real thing. 
Like they have their own white paper and everything. A glimpse into the future we all deserve. Yeah, I guess that's one way of saying it. Oh, here. I guess this is a better explanation than I provided. It's a project headed by cryptocurrency enthusiasts to purchase an existing Fijian island and develop it into a haven for fellow cryptocurrency enthusiasts. Oh my god. In this video, guys, I'm buying a real piece of land in crypto paradise on Fiji. Shameless. Fucking shameless. Yeah, there's no dislikes, though, so it must be good. Is it real, though? Uh, no, man, it's a fucking scam. What do you mean, is it real? Here, I'll just keep letting the announcement play. Whoops. Oh, my... Wow! <laughs> Damn, this place looks sick. Dope for vacations, but now Yo, board here. apes! Folks approached me saying, Connie, we need somewhere where we can be programming surrounded by palm trees and views to open sea. They were sick of working. This is a great office. mascot. He's like Why a do clippy that when they can work from paradise. For crypto. So we built it. Come on in. But all he can do is like people are picking up their passes vomit for the memes. Uh, <laughs> hey, he's having so much fun. Until you see what's next. <laughs> yeah. The crypto restaurant. You're gonna love this, Christopher. Oh, I get to eat NFTs. Want. Well, we don't have any real food, but we do have receipts of food. <laughs> no, 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 please, go ahead. I, uh, I'm, I'm not a fan of forks, you know? Oh, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Classic. Thanks. Enjoy your meal. Jesus See you around. Christ. <sighs> Yikes. While you were What's that? That's Cryptoland's walk of oh. fame. Oh, wow. Satoshi! Stars and you'll get to the moon. <laughs> that was fun. Boy, we are in Crypto Beach, and fun is the norm here. Goddamn right it's fun. Oh, Let's go. Study the best. What about the rug pull room? Who is this for? Six-year-olds? Make the ladies pass out. What the fuck is this, man? Is there any- I have to look this up. I'm not gonna do it on stream because I don't want to see the Council of Cock, but I'm going on Twitter real quick. Does Cryptoland have, like, a good following? Like, people that saw this and like, oh my god. Paradise at last. This is what I was born for. I'll take five crypto- what were these? Crypto Kitty NFTs? What the fuck are they selling? I already forgot what it was called. This is sad. They posted an announcement five days ago. Dear Crypto Landers, we have been the victims of what seems to be a planned attack to harass, vilify, and twist our work. We condemn all the false information and false accusations being spread about Crypto Land and invite those who are truly interested to make their own research and politely ask us if they want to know anything about this amazing project. Much love, Crypto Land team. You know, bah humbug, fuck all those people that are misrepresenting the good work of the Crypto Land. I think they did a great job of making sure no one would ever be interested with this animation. I don't think there's any need to twist their words when this exists. Firefest for crypto virgins. I keep seeing that posted everywhere. <laughs> Jesus Christ. My god, in their own household here. I can't find anything positive. Like, they're literally liking some of these tweets too. Crypto is in my chromosome. Damn, this slaps. The gospel. The future is here, baby. And it's bright. Let's go. Alright, I'm coming to Crypto Land, baby. That looks amazing. That looks good. I'm exhausted. I come from New York City, New York. Oh my god, even Crazy Frog's here? He's been minted into the blockchain? That's actually just gonna get me DMC'd. See you all there. Hey, see you on Crypto Land. All right, that looked that looked awesome. The land of DMCA strikes and cease and desist letters. They have resorted to legal threats and DMCA strikes and misrepresenting information. Is that right? Because they are doing the good old uh, DMCA and sending legal threats oh, to people. Oh, are they? So, uh, good luck with that one, by the way, guys. But either way, let's start looking into the, some of this stuff. The, the tweet about age of consent, right? Somebody tweeted oh, yeah. at them and said, what's the age of consent on crypto land? And the Twitter account responded with this. Mental maturity should be more than enough. <laughs> Winky face. <laughs> yeah, now, that's, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, this, this stirred up quite the shitstorm. Like, just a like normal question. You know? And such a normal answer. It's weird that people have been besmirching the good name of Crypto Land. Yeah, I mean, maybe this is where EDP's hanging out now. Like, he's he works there. I couldn't tell you. Yeah, this is... 
This is a very fucking weird response. And especially the winky face at the end. I know that this is going to sound ridiculous because this wouldn't hold up in a court of law. But yeah, but the, you're going to bring up the winky face. The, law, the winky face the is weird. Public opinion. Why is there a winky face in there? So this is when they started sending out cease and desist letters. Uh, it looks like the cease and desists are going well. Lol, 36k likes. <laughs> nice. The Cryptoland legal team. I promise you no such thing has ever existed in any crypto project ever. The legal team is, uh, that's Voldemort's name. There's no such thing as legality when it comes to fucking crypto NFT teams. No shot. It specifically states, you can use this. It's free. Anybody can oh, use this. Oh, so they just this, used free assets. But there Damn. is a condition. And the condition is, it looks like so much you hard work. credit me. So they stole a bunch of assets. Entities and giving it back to the people. But of course, not when it suits us. Uh, not, not when the corporate... Com oh, so it actually did go through on YouTube. I think that's one of the most laughable parts about YouTube is that something like Cryptoland can still take down a video, like from just some person. That's pretty wild. This is a video that's showing every single one of their things is from somebody else on Instagram. Oh, so they stole everything and it's a terrible project to begin with. Nice. Well, I'm all caught up. That animation was pretty fucking lit though. That shit really kind of went in. Do we have any crypto landers in chat? Will I be seeing any of you guys on the island?